For some of us, the weather report simply tells us whether or not we got to grab a warm jacket or maybe an umbrella. But for others, the weather report can affect their daily lives. So we've been getting a lot of questions about home weather stations. Well, to help us figure out what to look for and how they work, we've come to the Weather Channel here in Atlanta to talk to meteorologist Jim Cantori. Jim, good to see you again. Hey, Kev, thanks for coming down to Atlanta. Yeah, it's great to be. Look at the toy you got here. Now, before this you is even nice. tell me about this, I've got everything I need on my phone with the weather these days, don't I? You trying to put me app. out of business early? No, no. I'm still a meteorologist by day, okay? <laughs> but I mean, why do I need anything more than this? Well, because when you go out and you look at some of that data, uh, you're looking at data that could be 15 miles away, 20 miles away right. from the location where you really need it. So where is the information coming from that gets sent to my phone? It comes from weather service offices, from airports, schools. Mm -hmm. Uh, storm spotters that actually have a station like this. Could be miles away. Miles away, exactly. That's the bottom line. I mean, it could be 50 miles from where you are, and the weather can vary big time. Temperature, pressure, rainfall. And you can interpret what's in between that. But to get specifics, you need one of these. You want something in your backyard because it could be sunny at the airport but raining uh, five exactly. miles away. I mean, you, okay. how many times have you looked down the street and you're like, it's pouring at that guy's yeah. house, and you're not getting a drop. Okay. And you pull out the hose, and you got to water your lawn. That's that can happen. That kind of that's, that kind of variation can be within 100 yards. So all weather is local. We've got a weather mm -hmm. station right here. Uh, let's first talk about the features. What is it actually telling us? Weather stations have come a long way, yeah. and there's a demand for really good data. So you're going to need a high-end weather station like we have here. This one has a thermometer. It's going to be able mm -hmm. to tell you temperature, record temperature, a barometer changes in pressure, that pressure tendency. This is the anemometer up and through here, wind speed and direction, direction right. and a rain gauge, where it not only tells you how much rain has fallen, but what's the rate that it's falling, right. and empty out at the same time, so you don't have to go out and empty it all the time. Is it a soft rain or is it a deluge exactly. that might actually run off? Um, you're saying this measures barometric pressure, high and low. How do those work? What's right. the difference? So you like to see tendencies, but you know, high pressure, fair weather, sunshine, you're out on the lake or the ocean just enjoying the day. Yep. Low pressure, stormy weather. You can see these changes uh, all the time on the barometer. And really, as a meteorologist, as a mariner especially, you're looking for these things. Yeah. And so this thing here, this is a solar panel. Is this completely wireless? Yeah. Yes. No wires attached. All you got to do is make sure it's solid on the ground. Put this in a sunny spot in your yard, obviously, because yeah. you're going to need the solar energy to power and send this data off to your phone almost instantly. So put that where it's actually getting some sun to power this. The location of this in your yard is critical as yeah. well. Not just the solar panel, but the equipment as well. If you have this weather station blocked from, let's say, particular wind direction, or if you have this under a tree canopy, you're going to just totally blow out your temperature and also your rainfall. It's not going to give you a true reading. Yeah. So it really needs to be in an open field. It needs to be the highlight of your front yard, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> or okay. maybe your front yard. <laughs> or my front, or yard. front yard. All right. Well, uh, I know what I'm getting you for Christmas, but don't worry, we'll never put you out of business. Fantastic. Good to see you. Good information. I'll just take this with me. Thanks, Thanks. buddy.